Here we are at Darley Stud. I'm really looking forward to this. Look at this place, it's amazing. This is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. We're here to interview David Appleton. He's gonna tell us all about it. So let's go inside and have a look. Okay, welcome to Dalham Hall Stud. We're here this morning just to have a little look around, show you a little bit of the stallions that we have here. Dalham Hall is the European headquarters of the Godolphin Dali breeding operation. Uh, we're a stallion farm. We're gonna show you a little bit of the place, talk a little bit about the history, hopefully give you a bit of insight into what we do. So we're just outside the box of Perfect Power, who's one of our new stallions this season. He's our new stallion for 2023. He's a three-time Group 1 winner. He's the son of our dad. And I suppose importantly for the channel, he's actually just recently covered one of the former Rogues, Rogues Gallery fillies, Rogue Missile. So Perfect Power was a top-class sprinter. He won three Group 1 races. He won the Commonwealth Cup at Royal Ascot last season. And uh, we're very excited about his future. He should be a very commercial stallion, both in the sales ring and on the track. You know, the future's in his hands now, but we're, hopeful, we're pretty excited and hopeful he's going to have a good career here with us. So we're just outside Dubawi's box. I think the first thing I'll say about Dubawi is he's now the greatest stallion in the world. He's now standing at a fee of £350,000 to use him. But Dubawi's story is kind of the one to talk about. Uh, he's a son of Dubai Millennium, who was Sheikh Mohammed's favourite racehorse. He won the Dubai World Cup in the year 2000. Unfortunately, Dubai Millennium died very young. He only sired 53 foals before we lost him uh, to grass sickness, but luckily, one of those sons was Dubawi, and we've managed to continue that legacy on through him. His statistics are phenomenal. He's over 16% stakes winners to runners. He's still in great health. He's, he's well looked after. He's the king here. We all have so much respect and love for him. He's been so good to so many people, and uh, hopefully he can continue it for many years to come. And we've got Far, who used to run against Frankel. He won the, the Lockinge in the champion stakes. Yeah, he's a very good horse, Far. Um, very good stallion. Pinatubo here. You probably remember him, he's quite a recent one. He was a uh, champion two-year-old a few years ago. He's one of the best two-year-olds we've seen in probably a quarter of a century. Phenomenal horse. And then we've got Cracksman on the end on the first box here that you can see. Uh, so Cracksman by Frankel, uh, dual winner of the champion stakes. Brilliant horse, had his first runners last season. Did really well, um, first three-year-olds this year. So we'll see. And then we've Perfect Power, who's your choice? Yeah. That's the fellow. Yeah, that's the fellow, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, he'll have a chance, won't he? Yeah, and then two darn hot, son of Dubawi, who we just talked about before. Um, he's got first runners again this season. So we, you're hearing first runners a lot, so we've got a lot of young stallions here that are just, just on the cusp of seeing what they can do. You know, so the next sort of few years for us is going to be quite important and interesting to see which ones hit the mark and which ones, you know, which ones go on. So yeah, yeah. And, and we've got Harry Angel on the end there, who's, who's had a great, he's had a great few weeks. He's um, has a horse called by Dark Angel, yeah, so he was a champion sprinter. So he's a, I, he's a real, um, I think he's a proper stallion. Like he's, in the last few weeks, he's really kind of hit his straps. He had a, he's got a horse out in Dubai called Al Dasim that George Bowie trains, who uh, won a group three. Um, and another horse called Iconic Moment, who won a listed race a couple of weeks ago, who, who James Tate trains, who he really likes. Um, but this horse is, you know, he started from a fee of 20,000, which is, you know, it's a lot of money to anybody, but you know, in stallion terms, it's it's, it's not an elite fee, so if that's the right way to put it. So he's he's done what we call upgrade as mares, you know, in the fact that, you know, the, the the band of mares he covered in his first year was was good, you know, but it probably wasn't what the top stallions might get. He's going to have that sort of worldwide job, hopefully, for the next, you know, how well, how many years he can keep going as a stallion. Um, so yeah, he's he's a really exciting young horse. So just behind me here, we've got the the graveyard area at Dalham Hall here. Um, the horses aren't actually buried here, this is just a tribute to some of the stallions and on my right here, um, some of the brood mares that we've had down the years. Um, we, we talked about Dubawi and in the middle we have Dubai Millennium's headstone. Um, so Dubai Millennium, as I said before, Shane Mohammed's favourite horse, the sire of Dubawi. And the most important stallion probably we had in terms of legacy, creating a legacy through his sons. Some of the other important stallions, we have Sing Spiel, who's the brood mare sire of Tudan Hot, one of the stallions that we saw earlier. Um, in the middle row, we have Great Nephew, second from the right. So Great Nephew was Shergar's sire. Um, racing fans might remember Shergar, he won the Derby in 1981. And that was also the year that Shane Mohammed acquired this farm. Um, so in the same year as buying Dallam Hallstead, he acquired the sire of that year's Derby winner. Um, and to the other side, some of the brood mares, and that's, I suppose the most important one would be also Sharp, who's the first headstone that you see as you come in. Um, and in 1981, the same year that Shane Mohammed bought this farm, Oso Sharp's dam, her mother, Oso Fair, was part of the broodmare band and she was in foal carrying Oso Sharp. And Oso Sharp went on to be 
one of the best fillies to ever grace a race course in, in the UK. She won the Triple Crown. She's the last official Triple Crown winner, um, trained by Henry Cecil for Shane Mohammed. Um, so in one transaction, Shane Mohammed managed to acquire a beautiful stud farm, the sire of a, the Derby winner that year, and a future blue hen, world-class brood mare and race filly. If you're enjoying Grassroots Racing Channel, please subscribe. It's totally free and it will help us a lot.